I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to change the font of your Shopify store. So if you're starting from the Shopify homepage, what you wanna do is go to the left-hand side menu and go to online store. This should open up our theme section automatically, and this is exactly what we're looking for. So with themes open, you can see my current theme installed here. It's a version of Dawn. And so to note when you're changing these fonts is gonna to apply to the specific theme you have published. If you install a new theme, it's not gonna copy over these previously selected font in your currently activated Shopify theme. So to edit our font, we'll go to customize. It should be a black button listed on the same page. Now from there, it's gonna open up our Shopify theme editor. From here, we can make quite a few changes but we're gonna be looking for a specific section on the left-hand side. So if I scroll over here, I can see sections, and below that is gonna be theme settings. It should be a gear icon on the farthest left-hand side menu. And what we're looking for is a theme settings section called typography. I'm gonna click on typography. This is gonna expand this settings section, and I can see two overall settings. I can see my headings font, so these are gonna be like my headers, then I can see my body font. So these are gonna be things such as descriptions. And so to change my font, all I have to do is click on change. And from here, I'll see my system fonts and my other fonts. System fonts are loaded faster and might appear differently on various devices. Whereas other fonts are downloaded onto a visitor's computer and they might cause slower load times. This shouldn't have a huge impact, but it is something important to note. So to change my font, I have to go and select whatever one I want. Let's say I want Able as my font, I can select it and I can see now my headers have updated. I can see my collections header, my banner header, but I can see the text has not updated. So to update that, at the bottoms of these fonts, we can see select. So I'm gonna click on select and that's gonna close that menu. And so I've now changed my header. I can also change the scale so I can maybe make this bigger than it already was. I can also change the body font. So if I click on change, I can also scroll down and I can click load more. I can see there are quite a few different fonts available and the preview is available on the font title. And if I click on any of these, it's gonna go and update on the theme for a live preview, which makes it easy to see the effects. So maybe I'll hit select here on the cabin font. Now to save my changes and the font changes, I go to save in the top right, and that should upload everything, making it live on my Shopify store. Before I go, I wanna say that if you generated any sales on your Shopify store, you know how hard it is to keep track of your profit. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, it's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including a ton of different details, metrics, and analytics, so you can make smarter decisions for your store. It's gonna sync seamlessly with Shopify, as well as just about every major ad platform from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok. It also has many costs of goods sold integrations. And you can find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below. And from there, you can get access to a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and get a true understanding of your store's performance. So this is gonna conclude the video here on how to change your font for your Shopify store. I'd love it so much if you could hit that like button below if you enjoyed the content. I'm also coming up with new Shopify tutorials all the time, so make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.